August 10, 1969, Puerto Ricans rioted following the assault of an elderly Puerto Rican woman by Comancheros, a faction of the white male motorcycle gang Hells Angels in Hartford, Connecticut. The Hartford police had done nothing in response to the assault or other anti-Puerto Rican incidents, so the Puerto Rican community had been protesting on and off throughout August of that year. On September 1st, 1969, the black community in Hartford, Connecticut joined in the civil arrest with local Puerto Ricans when police attempted to keep quiet the August 29th shooting and killing of a 16-year-old black teen named Dennis Jones by a West Hartford police officer. Chaos and riots started when word spread. The North End was destroyed as fires were ablaze, buildings looted, and shots fired in the North End. Between 8 a.m. on Tuesday and 12.30 a.m. on Wednesday, 50 people had been injured and 50 fires were set. By 8 a.m. On, on Wednesday, the number of people arrested had climbed to 266. By Friday, September 5th, arrests had reached 500 and the Hartford Jail could no longer handle these numbers. The jail in Haddam was used as overflow. Many stores were looted several times over the first two days of riots. One liquor store was wiped clean of all alcohol and there were reports of snipers. It was not until Monday, September 8th that Mayor Ucello lifted the state of emergency and curfew. African-American leaders in Hartford denounced the violence, but cautioned city officials to look for solutions to avoid future unrest.